In this lecture, we will come to know the benefits of static testing. With this topic, we will cover the second objective of static testing. That is, use examples to describe the value of static testing. And this topic is marked as K2, so you must understand this topic. First, let's see an important point about static testing. When applied early in the software development lifecycle, static testing enables the early detection of defects. Now let's understand the meaning of that statement. This is a V model. Left side of it is a development phase, and right side is the testing activity. Very first input to this V model is the user requirement. Suppose there was a mistake in the user requirement, but it was not found in this stage, since static testing was not done. Then, based on the wrong user requirement, we will develop wrong system requirement, global design and detail design. And due to this, software will be implemented and complete testing will be done on it. Now, suppose, at the acceptance testing stage, the mistake was found. Since the error is found at this stage now, we need to change all these documents. But if we would have performed static testing, this error could have been found at the early stage, and we could have saved lots of effort and cost. We also saw this graph during principle of testing, where it was evident that more late we find the defect, more expensive it is. And static testing helps in this case. That's why we say, when static testing is applied early in the software development lifecycle, static testing enables the early detection of defects. There are a few more benefits of static testing. First one is, detecting and correcting defects more efficiently and prior to dynamic test execution. We know that dynamic testing can only be done after the code is implemented. For all the previous stages, only static testing can be performed to detect and correct defects more efficiently. Next benefit is identifying defects which are not easily found by dynamic testing. For example, in this requirement, there is a spelling mistake which we cannot find in the dynamic testing. Next benefit is preventing defects in design or coding by uncovering inconsistencies ambiguities, contradictions, omissions, inaccuracies, and redundancies in requirements. Here, if we focus on design stage or coding, then if we perform static testing at this stage, we can find defects related to inconsistencies, ambiguities, contradictions, omissions, inaccuracies, and redundancies in requirements. Next point is increasing development productivity. If we perform testing in the early stage, then we can avoid the defect multiplication and it will reduce the defect fix cycle. And this is the reason static testing increases development productivity. Next benefit of static testing is reduced development and testing cost and time. With this graph, it is clear that the earlier you find the defect, the less costly it will be to fix. And with static testing, we can find the defect early, and that is why it helps in reducing development and testing cost and time. Similar to this are the next two points, reducing total cost of quality over the software's lifetime due to fewer failures later in the life cycle or after delivery into operation. And last point is improving communication between team members in the course of participation in reviews. Since during static testing we perform reviews, then we discuss it with the team. Due to this, it increases the communication within the team. Let's have a look into all the points. Detecting and correcting defects more efficiently and prior to dynamic test execution. Identifying defects which are not easily found by dynamic testing. Preventing defects in design or coding by uncovering inconsistencies, ambiguities, contradictions, omissions, inaccuracies, and redundancies in requirements.
increasing development productivity, for example, due to improved design, more maintainable code, reducing development cost and time, reducing testing cost and time, reducing total cost of quality over the software's lifetime due to fewer failures later in the life cycle or after delivery into operation, improving communication between team members in the course of participating in reviews.